It's been a busy few months for Rebecca Fielding Miller. As an epidemiologist and assistant professor at UC San Diego, she's been helping in the fight against the coronavirus. As the mother of an almost three year old, she's been trying to get work done with a toddler at home. Her daughter's child care center closed in March, but they were hoping she could go back soon. Finally, we got word that our daycare would be opening again, but not, um, I think not until the end of August. Fielding Miller's situation is becoming more common for parents in San Diego County and across the state as child care centers struggle to stay in business. Experts say the closures signaled the start of a child care crisis that will have ripples across the economy. A study from UC Berkeley found that in Southern California, almost two-thirds of child care programs experienced loss of income due to low attendance or families not paying, and more than four in five made staffing changes, including laying off staff or cutting benefits. There's this real tension between choosing between their physical health and their financial health and well-being. Leah Austin is the co-author of the study. Providers who are working in operating programs are really worried about their own health risks and that they're taking risks with their health, even though that makes them worried um, and uncomfortable to do so in order to avoid financial collapse. Child care centers in California need grants from the government to stay afloat, Austin says. We want the economy in California to rebound and be able to, um, you know, be robust going forward, um, child care is so essential and critical um, to that. San Diego County Supervisors will vote on a grant program next week. Claire Tregesser, KPBS News.